Hi guys, so I'm here today with a video which is very exciting to me because I'm finally doing my Rosie Huntington White Lane inspired makeup look and I've done one in the past but it was so long ago the quality was horrible and I just don't like that video anymore so I wanted to remake it using Rosie's uh, makeup products. If you guys are following me on Instagram, that's my username, if you don't, please do. You must have seen a picture posted with a bunch of Rosie for Autograph makeup that I was very kindly sent by one of my viewers because I think that majority of you guys, at least all subscribers will know that Rosie is my ultimate icon, my style and beauty icon. I just admire her as a person, she's so funny, she has amazing personality, incredible style, her hair is always amazing, her makeup is always amazing, like I I love everything about Rosie. And naturally when she released the makeup line with Marks and Spencers I wanted to try everything because it's so right up my street. All of the colors, the packaging, everything is just like... Oh, I don't know, like it's made for me. So I got to try three of her products, her loose powder which I use all the time, her cream shadow in English Rose Flush, which is a very beautiful uh, kind of natural rose color. And then her eye palette in I Feel Like a Million Dollars. This eye palette has become one of my probably most used eyeshadow palettes. I just love these three colors here, especially this peachy color. They're all very shimmery, very beautiful, neutral, glowy colors. So I use this one so much. One of my viewers uh, called Laiz, I know you're watching and I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. She lives in the UK and she knows how obsessed I am with Rosie. So she said, I want to send you a package with uh, some of the Rosie's makeup line. And I was like, oh my God, <laughs> I cannot believe that. Thank you so much. So she sent me a massive box full of her products when I opened it, like, it took my breath away. I couldn't believe my eyes. So I said thank you. I sent her a box of um, some products from Lucania that I think she might like. Essentially we did a little swap and I want to thank you again Lays. It's, it's unbelievable. Oh my god, it's like my dream come true. So she also included this gorgeous rose gold notebook which says do more of what makes you happy and I 100% believe in that and it has gold edges, it's so beautiful. She also sent me uh, some tea and then um, some more green jasmine tea and then some very interesting tea I've never seen before, tea to tea white rose and french earl grey so this girl went crazy she pretty much sent me the whole line she knows what colors i like so she ch chose what she thought i might like and she also included two l'oreal products a gold nail polish from the new collection and then um, a single gold eyeshadow called lumiere we don't have these in latina so i'm excited to try it out Okay, so she sent me through, um, two of her eyeshadow palettes because she knows that I like warm tone shadows so she didn't send me the cooler tone ones. So, so she sent me a palette called Ballet Slipper which is very similar to I Feel Like a Million Dollars. So I Feel Like a Million Dollars has a warm color selection like a peachy color, a brown, a champagne color whereas Ballet Slippers has um, like a ballerina pink shimmery color, a taupe color a champagne color and then a dark kind of black color so that's that another palette she sent me is called uh, copper gold rush now this one is so beautiful oh and by the way how incredible is rosie's packaging it's all rose gold and it says rosie with a little rose it's so beautiful Oh my god, I just love this one. Look at that. So it has a matte brown color which looks like it will be perfect for the crease. An insanely beautiful chocolate brown with gold shimmer running through it. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. And then um, kind of a champagne color, a darker champagne. And then this almost like burgundy, purpley, rosy, shimmery color. It's so stunning. I mean, her makeup is just insane and the quality is so good. The eyeshadows are like buttery smooth. And then she sent me her magic contour. This is something I really wanted to try because it seems like the ultimate bronzer for fair skin and it has a rose embossed 
How stunning is that? Oh my god. I think this is gonna be my everyday go-to bronzer from now on. And by the way, her products are vegan. Fortunately, I don't think Marks and Spencer's uh, ships worldwide. I know they don't ship to Lutania. Then I have her Amazing Radiance Cream. So this is like a makeup primer that's supposed to make you very radiant. She sent me her cream eyeshadow in the color Feline Fox which is, oh my god, the packaging is so stunning. I just love it. And um, I love these cream shadows. Beautiful bronze color. I don't know if you can really see that, but it looks very smooth. And it's just like a beautiful, everyday wearable chocolatey color. It's not too dark. This is something that I really like. Then she sent me a bunch of her lip products. So these are called uh, lip glossies so it's like a chubby stick this one is called supermodel smile and um, it is like a wearable everyday um, dusky rose color super beautiful another is called uh, my best girlfriend which is a very beautiful summery peachy color oh just look at that isn't it just so summery? And then this one is called Lights, Camera, Action. And this is the one that Rosie often shows on her Snapchat. And uh, it's like an orange red color. If you are not following Rosie on Snapchat, I highly recommend that you do because she's so hilarious. Her snaps are so funny, especially when she's getting her makeup and hair done and she uses all the crazy filters. It always cracks me up. She has an amazing sense of humor, I love her. And uh, she also often posts her makeup. So her makeup line, what product she uses, how she uses. She does like mini tutorials on Snapchat, so I love that. And then Lee sent me three of the most beautiful colors from her lipstick collection. So this one is called Rose Lace. And the packaging is so gorgeous, I just cannot get over it. So Rose Lace is like a peachy, pink nudie color well that's not a very good des description but yeah it's like a peachy pink color another one is called rose silk so this is rose lace this is rose silk deep rose color and then the last one is the one i'm most excited about it's called lady rose and rosie said that this is the one inspired by her natural lip color so if you want to get that Rosie Huntington White Lip Color, I highly recommend that you get Lady Rose. Oh my god. And I've always been looking for that perfect rosy lip color. I have a lipstick inspired by her natural lip color. How amazing is that? So these are all of the lipsticks and as you can see, they're all quite different. And then the last product she sent me is actually from her new summer collection, which I'm so thankful to you, Lays, because this one is so heavy and I cannot believe she actually included this one too. So this one is um, Shimmer Body Oil called Summer Rose. Look at that. I have one from the Body Shop, um, their Honey Shimmer Body Oil, which is very similar, but let's give this one a sniff. Oh my goodness. It smells like holiday. Oh, it has a very fresh scent. I was actually expecting something more sweet, but it's like a fresh floral scent. Oh, it's so beautiful. Thank you, girl, so much. So now I'm gonna go ahead and create that Rosie Huntington White Lay inspired makeup look. I've actually no idea what I'm gonna use. I'll just, you know, experiment with the products as I go. My skin is quite glowy at the moment, so I don't really need any radiant products, but I'm gonna use it anyway. Um, maybe on the tops of my cheekbones. So I have to shake it up really well. Let's see. Oh, it's quite thick. I thought it's gonna be really runny, but it's quite a thick product and it has this champagne color to it. It's really beautiful actually, so if you have dry skin or your skin lacks radiance or you want that summer glow, that's a perfect product. I would definitely use it all over my face if my face wasn't shiny. 
but I don't think I have to. So for my foundation, I'm gonna use my Lancome Tan Miracle foundation in number 10. Um, just because I'm really loving this foundation at the moment. And um, I'm gonna blend it in with my Beauty Blender. I watched so many tutorials on Rosie's makeup. I almost died inside when I saw Lisa Eldridge upload a makeup tutorial where she did Rosie's makeup on camera. I was like, I cannot believe my eyes. And then I watched the one by Monica Blender. Monica often does Rosie's makeup. Of course, I watched the one on MNS website where Rosie was applying her own products herself. It was so nice to see. She just knows how to enhance her natural beauty and look like the best version of herself, which is something that I really, really admire. She never does heavy contouring, like none of that. She just looks like she's naturally um, stunning. Okay, my foundation is done. I look super greasy now, excuse that. For my under eyes, I'm gonna use my L'Oreal Lumi Magique concealer. And I'm using my Real Techniques setting brush to blend in the concealer. My skin is pretty good at the moment, so I don't need to conceal any blemishes. Thank God, it doesn't happen very often and I'm so, so happy that I don't have any zits right now. So I'm just gonna set my base using her loose powder, which I love so much. And I'm gonna use my Zoeva powder brush. Actually, it looks like a brush from her collection, it really matches her makeup. This powder is quite messy, so make sure you tap off the excess. Okay, so my brother just got the trimmer out and he's trimming grass in the garden. Perfect timing. <laughs> Excuse the noises guys, if you can hear the trimmer outside, there's nothing I can do about it. Now for my eyebrows, I'm gonna use my Anastasia Brow Wiz in the color Taupe. This is actually one of Rosie's personal favorites. And it's such a good pencil and I'm nearly out of it. Look how much I have left. Oh, I think this is gonna be the last use. I'll have to purchase a new one. So I asked my brother to go through him the grass elsewhere for at least 10 minutes, he said, okay, so thank you, brother. Now for my eyes, I'm gonna use her Copper Gold Rush palette because it's just so beautiful. Oh my God, I actually don't wanna ruin too because it's so pretty. So for an all over the lid, I'm gonna use this champagne color. I don't know, it's like a, like a peachy gold bronze color. It's so hard to describe. Oh my God, it's so pretty. It looks like a sunset when you put it on your eyelid. Then I'm gonna take a bit of this purple color and I'm gonna place it on the outer corner. It also has this beautiful gold sheen to it. It's so pretty. It just gives a little bit of warmth to your eyelids. Oh my God, it's so multidimensional. And Rosie always likes to take her eyeshadow outwards to create that feline look. And now I'm just gonna take this matte brown color and define my crease a little bit more 
to create some depth and definition. A bit on my lower lash line. Rosé almost always does a cat flick with an eyeliner, so I'm going to use my Pupa Vamp um, Brown Eyeliner. Just because I feel like these colors are really warm toned, so I want to use a brown one. Now it's time for some mascara. I'm gonna use my Lancome Hypnose Volume Aparte Mascara, which I absolutely love. My eyes are pretty much done, but I'm gonna um, add this champagne color from my I Feel Like a Million Dollars palette just into my inner corners. I love this color for brightening your inner corner. It just really opens up your eyes. And now I'm gonna use her Magic Contour Bronzer to add a little bit of color. By the way, this is a completely matte product. Oh yeah. It's definitely going to be my everyday bronzer. It's just so perfect. It's really light. It's not a dark color. It's just perfect for people with fair skin. Next up, Rosie loves her uh, cream blushers. So I'm gonna use this one, English Rose Flush. And she just uses them with her finger. And even though I powder my skin already, you can use this on top because this product turns into a powder finish. It's not a sticky, dewy blusher. It's like, it has this stunning velvety texture. It's just so beautiful. As all of her makeup. And I'm just gonna use a bit more of her Radiance Cream, just a tiny amount. And I'm um, gonna use it with my finger as a cream highlighter. I'm gonna use the Lady Rose lipstick, of course, because I want that Rosie's lip color. They smell very vanilla -y. Oh my god. It smells just like vanilla. I'm just gonna take my finger, blend it in. And I know that she likes to take the excess of her lipstick and, and I tap it on the apples of her cheeks. It's so beautiful, this color. It's definitely that perfect rosy shade. Oh my god, I'm in love with this lipstick. Just look at those colors and textures. Oh my god. I love her makeup line. Like, Rosy did so well. If you have a chance to try her makeup, definitely do. It has become my favorite makeup brand. I don't know, I just love everything about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, enjoyed seeing the products in action. I have to say that I have tons of new favorite makeup items that I'll be using every single day from now on. If I ever were to create a makeup line, this would be it. This is like my perfect makeup line. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. A massive, massive thanks to Laiz again for sending me all of this makeup. I honestly still cannot believe that you sent me so many products and you spoiled me so much. So thank you so, so much from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate it. I'm sending you a big hug. <laughs> so um, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. I love this makeup so much. I don't want to take it off. I think it's probably my favorite makeup look I've ever done. Mm -hmm.